Hey, this is Tom Nash, and this is a very crucial moment for the stock market. I believe that the next few months will determine where the stock market will go for the rest of the year. Over the past few weeks, we have been bombarded with contradicting analysis about where the stock market is headed for the rest of 2024. As much as it feels bad because April was a down month, I, I still think probably it's favor May being an up month, and of course, that the market does well the rest of the year. I'm a little more worried that it may not be so soft and inflation may not go quite go away. Uh, the rates may have to go up a little higher. I'm talking about the 10-year rate, the five-year rate. Uh, and, you know, that be, can have consequences. I, I think, in fact, there will be rate cuts. I do think there are very favorable signs that inflation uh, is going to calm down. The idea that inflation would remain robust or even accelerate should not be a surprise to anyone. But I'm going to tell you it's a little bit more complicated than just will the Fed cut rates. Just the cutting of rates is not the thing here, folks. Whenever the Fed cuts rates, it does not automatically promise that the stock market is going to fly up. It's more of a question of why the Fed cut rates. Over the course of history, we had multiple times where the cutting actually led to the stock market declines. On the other hand, we had multiple cases where the stock market flew up after rate cuts. So it's not directly correlated to the cutting rates. It's more about why did the Fed cut rates? Specifically, if you have a Fed that's chasing a bad economy, trying to prop it up before it falls apart, and then the cutting is reactionary. On the other hand, if you have a Federal Reserve that is being proactive, in a great economy with inflation declining, actually reducing rates because inflation declined as a proactive move, that actually might lead to a stock market increase to a bullish cycle. And as far as how it will impact the markets long term, well, I'm going to give you the bearish scenario and the bullish scenario. If you look at it from a bear perspective right now, you're saying, look, oil prices might spike if geopolitics goes crazy, right? If we cross $90, $100, it's going to send the economy to the toilet. Number two, high rates means more money goes into bonds instead of the stock market. Number three, valuations are extremely high right now. And the S&P 500 PE is at 26 right now, which is literally one of the highest points to enter the market. And if CPI basically becomes stickier than what we thought, then Fed might pivot back into interest rate increases if oil sends it up. So in that case, the stock market can go absolutely ballistic in the wrong direction. And we've been inverted for 450 days on the 10 and 2 yields. Once we cross back, that's a recession statistically. On top of it, nobody's talking about the commercial real estate being in the doghouse with these interest rates. If that collapses, we might see a recession coming from that. In that case, no rate cuts will help that situation. On top of it, we have China collapsing. That's going to send a ripple effect right through America. So there's a lot of things that bears are looking at and saying, well, we might have a really horrible year despite all this optimism. On the other side, you have a lot of bulls saying, look, Tom, we have strong earnings again. We have fear on the fear and greed index, which means that people are absolutely bearish about this market, which is a contrarian argument, right? If people are extremely bullish, that's usually where the crashes happen. When people are fearful, it's usually when the market eventually goes up. On top of it, the AI boom has not played itself out at all. If you look at the invention of internet as a comparable to AI, well, when Netscape launched in 1994, the market did 110% in three years. So far, since the launch of ChatGPT in November 2022, we're up about 50%, which means we have another, what, 60% to go? Uh, so, I mean, we're fine. Uh, plus, we have election economy. It's an election year. Even if the Fed remains neutral, election economy is a real thing, and a lot of it comes from the government. It doesn't come from the Fed. And what we've seen right now is a slight correction, a 4% correction on the S&P 500. Cool. That happens three times per year. Nothing unusual. In fact, we're still due for one 10% correction, which also happens once per year. That hasn't happened yet. In fact, once every three years, we have a 15% correction. And we're talking about good years here, not bad years. So it's just another correction in a series of corrections that might happen. The markets just don't go up in the 45 degree angle. So if you need some bullish arguments, here they are. And at this point, you might ask yourself, well, Tom, what should I do? Should I buy stock X, stock Y? What should I sell? Should I sell everything? Should I buy everything? Look, guys, I can't tell you which stocks to buy and sell. But one thing I can tell you, if you invest long term and you keep buying and you keep buying and you keep buying at all times and the smart ones keep buying even more and increase the buying when the stock is down or the market is down and you do it for 10, 15, 20 years, you're going to have great returns. That never fails. That's a cheat code. Why would you try and sabotage that by trying to time this market. It's mind-numbingly stupid. 
Just stay the course, buy at all times, and focus on finding great businesses. What you need to be focusing is developing skills to find good businesses to invest in for the next 15 years. That's all, which is exactly what we talk about in our community every single day. You're more than welcome to join our Discord, discord.gg slash Tom Nash. The Discord is free to join. Once you join, it doesn't mean you have access to all the rooms. There's free rooms and there's member rooms. If you join the academy, if you join the paid in, if you become a channel member, you get more access to more rooms, but the general chat is open to everybody to chat, to talk, and to communicate. And if you want to get weekly lessons with me, patreon.com forward slash Tom Nash, choose the academy tier. All the tiers have 30-day money-back guarantee. You're not liking it for any reason, no questions asked, refund on the spot. And on top of it, if you haven't yet, check out StockFAP, stock-fap.com, a tool I've created for you to analyze stocks, to run DCFs, to create stock prices for five years, for today, valuations, compare stocks, a lot of cool stuff over there, stock-fap.com. Use the code TOM25 for 25% off for the entire lifetime of use. I'll see you in the next one.